and stability to Burma State. That's the State Governor Babagana Zulum there. Well, for more on that story and the situation in Nigeria, we're joined by Arjun Jain, who's the representative for the United Nations Refugee Agency in Nigeria. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us at what must be an incredibly busy period for you and your colleagues. First of all, just tell us about the work and the needs that you're seeing on the ground. Thank you so much. Um, the needs are just enormous right now, and we are seeing hundreds of thousands of people who are displaced in Maiduguri alone. But as you had said in your news piece, this is not just about uh, Maiduguri, it's about the whole country. We are seeing over a million people affected, according to the government, and the region as a whole. We are seeing people in Chad, Niger, Mali, Cameroon, and Burkina Faso, all affected by heavy rains. Uh, right now, people are displaced. They are living in school buildings. They are living in old IDP camps that were closed. Just as they were getting back on their feet, they are back in these IDP settlements. Uh, they need water. They are desperate for food, shelter material, uh, mosquito nets, a whole uh, array of things that we are providing on the ground. But we need to do a lot more far quickly. And Arjun, I was reading that these are the worst floods that that region has seen, Madaguri, for three decades. So is the area equipped to cope with this? Well, we do have a large presence there as a UN and the humanitarian community, but we are not prepared to respond to the size and magnitude of this crisis unless we get more resources in. We need to fly in more resources to provide the assistance that people need now. And when they do go back home as the floodwaters recede, they need a lot more support in rebuilding. Most of the city is underwater and many people have lost a lot of what they built up for just as they were getting back on their feet. And so what stories are you hearing from people? Were there people who perhaps stayed in their homes trying to save them, protect them, who are now trapped? Are you finding, of course, you mentioned so many people displaced. Just tell us more about the stories you're seeing and hearing on the ground. So Maiduguri is a city that was getting back on its feet and the floodwaters came in in the night. A lot of people were caught unaware. A number of our staff belonging to the government, NGOs and the UN were also affected and evacuated. They have got back into their communities to support people who are far more vulnerable. And they are seeing uh, communities that have been displaced, people who have been trapped under the floodwaters, people who are unable to access urgent medical care. Um, and the government has been in the lead. They have been helping with the evacuations and relocating them to schools and shelters. These are people who have been affected by conflict for decades. These are people who are vulnerable as they are prior to the floods. There is a situation of malnutrition that was affecting food insecurity, affecting a number of them. So this is uh, a community that has been repeatedly displaced for decades that have again now been placed in a very precarious situation. And just uh, before we let you go, Arjun, um, we understand that this, of course, was caused by a dam bre being breached. Do we know how long it might take for the floodwaters to recede? Well, we expect the floodwaters to recede in the next two, three weeks. Uh, we don't know how long it'll take for people to get back on their feet. So we are desperate to support them now. But there is an urgent need also to provide the early recovery. So UNICEF is on the ground, IOM is on the ground, UNDP is getting ready to help them with the recovery. Uh, we are providing essential services. WHO is out there to provide essential health services as well. We are all on the ground, desperately working 24 seven, but we need to do a lot more, much faster. Okay, Arjun Jain from the UNHCR, joining us live from Nigeria on those devastating floods. Thank you very much. Thank you. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News.